everyone, welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. And today I am inspired by all my woodworking friends that I met down at WorkbenchCon. And I'm gonna try my hand at a little inlay. Wish me luck. I need to make a tray for our family room ottoman and I thought it might be fun to have a little bit of a detail. So I have some leftover three quarter inch plywood here. I have my router and I am gonna try to do this. I think I have a grasp on the basic premise of inlay. I am going to route a pattern into the wood and then I'm gonna fill the grooves from that pattern with epoxy and I'm going to mix some colored powder into the epoxy and hopefully I can sand it all smooth and it'll be great. I am working with my rigid router. This is really easy to work with. It is super easy to control with one hand. Originally I was planning on routing just a simple circle with maybe a monogram or something in the middle but it turned out that building a round jig was beyond my pay grade. So I'm just gonna do some very simple bands around the edges of the tray, and that way I can just clamp these guide pieces here, and then I'm just gonna route along the edge. So this is my test piece. This is my practice board. I'm really pleased that I did a practice first because here's some things that I've already learned. One, my router was not behaving and so I'm glad that I did this practice because I could figure out what was going on with the blade. You can see that there's some little hiccups here and there. So I have that sorted out. Two, I'm really pleased with how vibrant this color is. I didn't use a lot of this powder in the epoxy mixture and it looks terrific. I'm also noticing that as this sets up, the epoxy mixture is bleeding into the wood just a little bit. I'm not sure that I'm gonna like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this harden. I suspect it's overnight. I'm gonna come back to it tomorrow. I think I can sand over this, but again, I'm not positive. And if that bleed through is still there, then I probably will build my tray and add a coat of polycrylic first and then add the epoxy on top of that. But I have a couple questions that I need to go figure out. I'm gonna look on YouTube. I might message a couple friends. I'm gonna Google. All in all, I think this was a really good test and I'm glad I did it. So stay tuned. I have a new, slightly smaller bit for my router and I've gone ahead and clamped these in place so that when I route my pattern, I'm hoping that it'll be a nice clean rectangle. Well, it is not perfect. There's a couple little parts here, but I'm gonna keep on trucking. <laughs> It is not perfect, but it's not bad. I'm gonna get out a little sandpaper and just try to smooth out these edges, and then I'm gonna spray it with some lacquer. According to Google, if I give my wood a light coat of lacquer before I pour the epoxy, it'll prevent that bleed through that I saw on my test piece. So I picked up this clear spray paint. I'm gonna concentrate it on the routed edge. I assume I'll have to go back and sand and I can figure out what kind of a surface treatment I wanna do for the whole thing after the fact. But for now, I'm just trying to prevent that bleed through. That looks pretty well coated. I'm gonna let this dry and then I will come back and pour the epoxy. One thing you need to know about me is that I am super impatient. So I probably should let this sit the full 24 hours until it's totally cured, but I can't wait. So I'm letting it go about an hour and it certainly feels dry to the touch. So I am going to mix up my epoxy and I'm gonna use my syringe to squirt it in so that it can set up overnight and I can see what it looks like tomorrow. 
I'm using one of these two-part kits where there's a hardener and there's a resin and you have to mix them 50-50, equal parts. I've gone ahead and I've pre-marked on my cup where equal parts will be. I don't think I need the whole container, so this is sort of a cheat that I have. You need to be pretty precise. I eyeballed it when I was mixing my test round and it was a little tacky, so lesson learned. And then this powder that I got, I got it online and this is just, I don't know, a natural mineral cosmetic mica. I just looked up inlay and I have no idea how much to add. I didn't need a lot before and then you wanna mix it so well. All right, so I'm gonna use this syringe that I got for free at the drugstore, and I'm hoping that'll help me control the epoxy. Oh, the syringe makes it so much easier. Now, I think I need to put in a little bit more because right now that's below the edge of my router groove. So I'm gonna keep on going. All right, the resin feels amazing. It's super hard, I had to bring it inside to set. And I think that lacquer worked. There's a little bit of bleed through here. Uh, I'm hoping that sanding might clear that up. And then there's a couple places where it overflowed my routed reservoir. So I'm just gonna go through with the chisel. It cleans up pretty easily and then I'm gonna sand down the entire thing. I spent quite a bit of time sanding this down. It is completely smooth, it is completely level. I'm really, really pleased with how nicely that inlay is working. I don't, unfortunately, have a super high grit sandpaper that I would need to get this back up to that crystal finish that you saw before I started sanding, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I'm just gonna consider that a lesson learned. This is only a tray. I really just wanted to experiment with doing a resin pour like this, and next time I'll know.